hey, you want to enter my tea? Ah, oh, you want the tea to hear music? this sweater in december it is so nice yeah ignore my room is a mess to be honest so let's let's do like this hey you want to enter my tea ah oh, you want the tea to hear music i don't know this tea by now and i've hopefully shown you guys all the other vlogs i've recorded and you've seen it constantly being featured and you think it does not work i don't know I don't know what to tell you, baby girl. <laughs> look. Look, guys. Like, I'm getting so small. So small. Look at my abs. My baby was telling me the other day how he could actually feel my ribs from a very big tummy. I'm not going to come out of this fitness journey with loose skin, so, yeah. This year I've been thinking a lot, right? I think I'm finally ready to grow as a person and for me it's not even fear of oh what will people say, oh my god how would they take it? It's fear of oh what if it fails? What if people think I'm this when I'm actually this? And it's like I have forgotten where I came from and that's, that's dulling my hustling spirit you know, I've actually settled for mediocrity all these years, all this time like you guys will see some posts I do online even though it gave me so much sleepless nights or it made me like I had to crack my brain and think about most of the posts a lot say for instance now my enters look from um, last year I call it my enters look because and then when I was creating that look, I didn't know it was going to be as powerful as it became. As powerful as it became a tool to speak against, you know, police brutality. Just the injustice that has been SARS and just the Nigerian government to its innocent, innocent citizens, especially the young ones. I'm going to put that look somewhere. But even when the look was blowing up, somewhere in my head was still telling me, Somewhere in my head was still telling me I didn't deserve all of that. Uh, that look was not what it was, you know. Downplaying my hard work, downplaying everything of me that went into creating that look, downplaying the response it got, downplaying how people were like, oh my god, oh my god, Lydia, your look, oh my god, oh my god. When all of that was happening, I didn't feel worthy. I just stood back and I was just looking like, wow. And some of you might have been thinking, or, or you're thinking now in your head, oh, that's humility. You're not being proud. You're not tooting your own horns. You're not being, you know, proud. Proud. Like, yes. I did that like I didn't give myself no taps on the back because I was trying to be humble I've just realized how I've been setting downplaying myself my potential I've just so been comfortable with being just mediocre and I'm going to say this because it might speak to some of you it might not don't be scared to work hard for your dreams don't be scared to aspire like literally last year made me know that there's nothing that's impossible nothing absolutely like waiting god no fit do no they exist 
Do you understand? Nothing is impossible, nothing is off limits. Everything is up for grabs. How witty are you to grab it? How much are you willing to hustle to get that dream of yours, like that dream that you want? And I'm also talking to myself oh, because I have a life I've imagined for myself. And do I think that with the way I'm doing sme sme or not utilizing my full potential, not working as hard as I know I can work, not using all my 10 talents that God gave me, where my head is, <laughs> where my head is as to where I want to be, as regards my talent, as regards my finances, as regards my whole life, is way up there. Until now, I've been beating myself up for not accepting it, for not saying, oh, I deserve it all. And I can work for it regardless of what people say. I can work for this thing and I can get it. <sighs> Don't be mediocre. That dream that you think is not possible. God is just looking at you and wondering. She this one know they see waiting and they see near be waiting. Like I know how people from the outside look at me. But if only you could see me from the inside. Maybe you might understand like struggles that go on in my head on a daily as regards to who I want to be and who I'm settling for. <sighs> Enough of that. We are all flying this year as butterflies. We are all coming out of our cocoon. No more hiding. <sighs> so I really do a lot of craft, but I don't show you guys it because usually it's messy and it's stressful and I've not really become like into vlogging as much as I am now I'll be doing craft let me go fix the lighting situation because before I go fix the lights though what sit down how we are going to vlog I wanted to talk about something that really happened this morning <sighs> I'm going to put where the vlog starts from okay so you can skip there if you just are here for like how to make those frames I'm showing in the thumbnail but yesterday like I'm already wedding planning and just the basic beginner stages of wedding planning around this time is the time when I just posted the vlog of my introduction um, so today's date is January well, January 21st or 22nd yeah, I know I'm very terrible with vlogs, so you might see this probably late, but that's what today's date is. I'm recording this. I was just thinking to myself how, um, after watching those videos, because I really will enjoy those vlog videos, those ones about my introduction, so I go back to watch it all the time, and it made me think, oh, I'm usually used to remembering my sister, like, every stage of your life, remembering her and just, like, you know, I don't know how to explain it. If you've watched Coco, you know, the Mexican cartoon that they were trying to remember the dead, he was being forgotten, his picture, da da da. So I feel like I kind of believe it that way that if you lose a loved one, you kind of have to always put a candle for them in your heart. You know, just, it doesn't have to be sad. Just remember them in things you do. And it's okay if you don't remember them all the time because to be honest, the mind thinks about a million and one things every single time so maybe probably towards your healing stages you don't remember them as much it's fine but on major occasions like I've, I feel like I should remember her and I felt so terrible that on that day I was so happy and I didn't remember her I know it sounds crazy but this is just me being very honest with you um, Daddy, I'm recording. Yeah, the thing with that is, on that day, 
I know that Precious was, uh, Precious was so happy or she would be so happy that I was happy that day and I finally found like my dream person and I'm in love and I'm getting married she would be so happy for me so happy Precious would have loved to be there for me and to really like just uh, be there for me be there for me Peace was there for me she was helping me behind the scenes like on that day I really felt like a princess everybody came through for me in my house like nobody was giving me stress everybody just wanted me to have an amazing day and I really blessed God for them my brother my brother was trying to be a man like it was so cute he was helping out my dad everybody really came through so I kind of had no reason even the past could have helped me with Esther was there Esther is my assistant and my PA everybody took over all the responsibilities and I basically had no reason to think oh if Precious was here she would have Do you get so maybe that is why I didn't it didn't she didn't cross my mind on that day so I was now like more intentional that okay you know the whole concept of out of sight out of mind where it's like you want to make sure that something reminds you of that person or that thing you want to remember it's kind of how like vision boards work you, you know what I'm talking about so I just put in something there that can help you think of that thing like thinking about it so a, a visual reminder of something that you want to remember so um, I was browsing on YouTube on how to do that and I've seen something that I might try I don't talk about it yet because I've not seen any like African couples or mainly Nigerian couples do it I've been researching trust me so if they have I've not seen it but I really want to do it and it's so crazy I kind of understood the importance of butterflies I'm just realizing now that I can't tell you what I'm to tell you without giving you the other part but I'll try to be as secretive as I can with the idea until I can execute it I hope I can execute it <laughs> and I'm just so happy that at least I'm able to find a way now to kind of remember precious on that I like to actually bring her along with me for the wedding you know so i figured out two methods the second one is so special oh my god i hope i can be able to execute it i just called my baby and he's game he's down with it so i feel like we're going to definitely make it work by god's grace let me show you my supplies this is a pink carton and this is going to be so basically let me set this down aside first basically what i want to do is to make frames like these frames behind some vloggers and youtubers like really cute frames you know i want to kind of change up my setup from filming in my room this year to filming in the studio i want to make it because i've not seen anybody i can get it from in kd here and the ones i'm seeing in lagos and abg they're quite pricey now for my budget to be honest like and I really like it DIY, a mini DIY. Let me show you the crafts I've done before so that you can see. I made this in 2019 and it was for my Halloween prop. I did everything myself. So my inspo was like a scary kind of group. At the back here you have like a hole. So if you put a bulb through this place, it's size for that small I size this for that small bulb. If you put it here, it will glow through here and you know it was just all hand painted by me fake cobwebs shrubs on the tree not like a scary tree and this is all made from foil tissue paper mache masking tape that's and this thing is very it's very solid like it's not breaking it's not going anywhere I also made this one because what's Halloween without a pumpkin right this one was particularly challenging for me because I I had to do a lot of research to get this done but I'm, I was so proud of myself all this I'm showing you were like my first time trying them I'd never done them before like I just knew I needed a Halloween prop and I made it because where will you get a pumpkin this pumpkin -y in Nigeria so this two also had a groove made with tissue paper mache really nice and i had to improvise like you don't even understand a lot of things i did here i had to think of what can give me the results in nigeria and buy it and i wish i made a vlog of this because even now 
let me know if I can remember how I made it so that's why I want to make a vlog of these frames in case people are interested and big carton I, I, I found this carton at home and you need a cardboard paper that is really thick to at least give what you're making framing in here I have my supply you need cardboard I got white I wanted to get black imagine i needed black cardboard and i couldn't find black cardboard ordinary black cardboard i checked all the stores in kd here like craft stores i couldn't find and i didn't have time to go into the town and i have this marble sticker thingy i used from quirk station on ig i have it here and i'm thinking of making a black one a white one and a marble one i also have the option of using spray paint so this is what i was going to use to do the spray paint the gold to get the gold frame but this gold is not shiny it's not chrome gold like this cover here it's more like the dye yellow on the body that's the color the gold is so i wish it was like more gold i might just have to spray paint it black i have black spray paint i just don't know if it's a loss because i didn't buy literally the only new thing i bought for this project is this cardboard i i'm still showing you the content of my box so i have sandpaper in case i need sandpaper anything um i have white spray paint why i'm making this frame with paper in case i didn't mention it is i want it to look good behind me but i don't want to spoil my wall the actual wall there with nails having to pierce the hole to make it like just to hang the frames you get so because when i'm not filming there it's usually my makeup studio i don't want those frames staying there permanently and also like it can be movable to anywhere with just tape so this is tape i'm going to be using and then this one is a double-sided double-sided tape and then this one too i'm definitely one of those person that when i get my house by god's grace like when me and my husband move in together and we have our house like our own house not somewhere we're renting i would make a garage or something like a workshop and i'll be that mom that makes this at home because i love it like so i have a lot of these at home this is top one for like pretty much anything like you'd be surprised what you can get done with this in craft i use it in like my mix to make this paper mache thingy like it was part of the things i had to improvise anyway i also have my glue gun glue stick because you need to make some things stick stronger than the other so that is why i have this i have like this kiwa sticks i basically just went into my craft bag and just brought out stuff i might use i might break this or cut this and use this as reinforcement for the framing so that yeah it doesn't cave in after some time i also have this that i bought it's from the fabric store it's quite shiny it's really nice i don't know if i'll add this to the black frame yet i'm still making my mind on it also have scissors and then i'm just showing you my supplies before we start so they are like three sizes big one small one the medium one These are the pictures i downloaded and edited them to kind of look alike so we're going to be making this into the frames today and yeah i hope they turn out nice fingers crossed so i'm going to try to figure out how to cut up the cardboard and then i'll try to get one frame done know what i'm doing first and I'll come back and show you guys what I'm up to. So I'm currently trying to um, get the markings of the picture. Um, I think this is first because this is meant to be an A2 print. So I um, just want to get the markings of where the actual framing of the picture will show. And I've gotten that. Let me just see if I can get it marked this way. I'm so glad I did an A2 frame. I'll do this for all three sides just to get the dimension of where I know like okay this is the part that is going to show in the picture. And the whole entire canvas is about 42. I'm I'm writing it in my notebook here and then I'm taking out minus 1.5 inch from both sides inch on 
all sides. I'm going to take apart this carton. Ay, ay, ay. I don't want it to get. I also brought this um, Mood Beauty PR box. The thickness of the frame, I want it to be like this, right? Um, let me go see something. Okay, now my frame will be bigger than this Mood Beauty one. But I thought I could use this as a guide, you know? I want the frame to look kind of like this. Like, imagine this on the frame. 3D to get the vibe. So I'm just going to measure what this measurement is here, here, and then I'll use that as my thickness of my frame guide. 2.5 frame. Which is the lighter pink one that we use first. I go right over. I think are going to work good for this look. So the first one is going to be uh, Marc Jacobs in red wine. This trick is beautiful, beautiful, true red. And then the second color is going to be Makeup Forever in the shade Lagoon. This color right here is going to be more of a blue, which I think it contrasts really nicely against the teal. You guys, I'm going to go in and set my skin with some setting spray before I move into anything else. Honestly, like your This is the thickness of the top side. I'm going to cut this out and then also cut it out. So this is the longer side and this is the... Side. Yes, baby. So I'm gonna go ahead and let um, my skin just kind of soak up the setting spray. So I recommend doing this if you are working with less powder. So you're working with a setting powder, a blush, a bronzer, a translucent powder. After a while, your skin is going to get dry. So I'm going to go ahead and use sandpaper to sand down all these rough edges just to make it as smooth as possible. I'm done filing them and before I try to couple up this one, I want to kind of see the shorter ones are fine. I feel like they are straight, but I'll just put reinforcement in the middle just because. And then this one, you can see because it's longer because of the the edge from which it was cut, you know to make up the length i want this joint here is weak i'm just going to put that right here and that will significantly strengthen this joint right here this joint is weak right now so if i reinforce it with this um wood this spatula thingy it will become as strong as this spatula see that joint is totally sealed it's not like one whole length like this so I'm going to go ahead and reinforce these ones that are long I'm going to reinforce all of them This is what we're having here. I'm going to figure out a way to fill up this tiny dent right here. So I think I've reinforced that area, that bent area. I think I've reinforced it quite well. Is 
other than me that can make you feel the way you feel when I hold you. I think I said enough. You said you love for me something brand new. You said this is something you would never do. I'm coming here to tell you how it's going. So I've made an L so far and it's 3D but like it's not as smooth as I thought the joining would be of course this is like the framework this is proving a lot more difficult because I had to like reinforce here still with wood and here too and you can see the joint in there like I have to do a lot of reinforcing I know this will last longer than the other method but this is taking way too much time so this is also like where I joined it I had to cut it I'm using because I have to cut out a bit from here to make this place even like this place have this corner space right so I'm going to repeat that here but I want to use this to measure for this inner part so I'm using this to just measure I'll place this here I'll place it here then I'll cut off this excess This is those um those these sticks, the popsicle stick, and I'm going to use that to kind of put in here, right here, and make a joint here so that this holds in place and I'll glue it into place. So you hold it in place until everything is like well locked in. And then I bring it together. So I just put the glue right there and I bring it together. I'm just going to hold that there until it dries basically. So it's beginning to look like a frame and I'm very happy. This is what the frame looks like. To be very honest with you, I'm over and done with, and I've just made one. Um, I'm going to try the second method that is a bit easier because this one, this one is nice, but it took a lot of time. Um, let me show you. This is what it's going to look like. I wanted that whole like 3D effect with the framing, and this is what it looks like. Don't worry, this is still the skeleton, you know, we're going to beautify it. This is what the sticker thingy looks like from behind and from the front. So I've gone ahead to get one side fixed. It's a lot of um, marking in, marking out, but just basically just try to put it on. I'm having difficulties with ending the joints but it's not so visible to be honest. It's supposed to come really really close. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the frame. So 
So I'm using this ruler to make the edges a bit more um, square rather than round so it will help with the illusion of the clean square edges. So basically to get the paper to be kind of square-ish when you do that with the ruler. morning so this is the next morning i struggle with that stuff the whole night i'm done with one but i'm not going to do that one for the other three because it took all day yesterday and i'll come back and try to finish it up today because i need to start filming content tomorrow i'm back from the gym and to be very honest with you this project is beginning to stress me out let me show you the update i finished making this one yesterday so it's the 3d one the more 3d one i made like it has like i feel like it looks like a frame though no? i feel like it looks like a frame like a, a store-bought frame and it's the dimensions i wanted let me show you it with the picture so this is one of the prints i'm going to be using this took me all day to make yesterday and i really do not have that time today like it's already 354. I decided to do the other paper method. It won't be as sturdy as this one because I really reinforced a lot of things in this one. So I know this one will definitely lasts longer than the ones I'm making from these. So I've already tried it out, right? And it has already failed. But this is what we are going to try to do. When we fold this up, we can place the frame in. So let me just bring you guys in and show you what I'm up to. Can't see right through you're holding your secrets for way too long. This can't keep going on. Get a picture and I place it in the center of the paper, mark out the points roughly. My measurement is just me taking this. I'm just taking two inches. So this is one inch and this is two. All along, all along here. So you need four sides in total my sides of the square is like two so um one part starts from one inch and then this is two then two like all through i've marked them and then this will give me the fourth size of the box so i need the fourth size of the frame you get I, because i want it to be a 3d frame so i need to make our fourth size so that's what i'm going to be doing all through and then i'll rule lines and then i'll be back these are the lines i've gotten so there's two inches apart on all sides. For you, this can't keep going on. No, because you're not alone in this. We'll do this together. No, you're not alone in this. No, we're gonna find them. And I'm gonna fight for you. They better start hiding. We'll be running with the lions, lions. I'm going to go ahead and um, make the edges so from this one let me show you from this one that I already made that didn't work out I'm just going to try to make this I'm trying to make out this measurement here so that when you fold the box and you, you do all of that and you bring it in it will give you this edge the mistake I also made here is that some of these parts were not equal and this part it was where is it it was a side that was very long so i'm just going to make sure i measure that properly here and after measuring it i'll cut it out here here 
here, here, here to get out the, this edge and I'll do that for all four edges. You say you're fine, but I can see right through you're holding your secrets for way too long. This can't keep going on with every lie. They keep on hurting you, getting away with everything they do. This can't keep going on. I've cut out all the edges. I'm going to go ahead and make them into like score the edges. I'll write it on the screen score. So, what that is, is just to put the ruler and use it to make the edges have a square finish you know paper is not malleable like that so this is how you make it malleable and shape it how you want you're just basically pressing the paper against the edge of the ruler like so And you see that's giving it an edge. We're gonna find them. La 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 la. They better start hiding. We'll be running with the lions, lions. I tried using top bond in my other this one. I tried using top bond and I tried using the glue gun. It didn't work. That is the one that failed yesterday. This is the glue gun, the glues, whatever. It didn't work. It was too it was too bogus and too rigid. It wasn't giving me a flat edge. And this didn't just stick on the paper. So I decided to go and dig up my stash again and I got this gum is the uhu gum and it's for a lot of stuff so i'm just going to use it for this it's a paper gum me every day i was down with an illusion like a sparrow with broken wings but now i shine with your reflection on me Getting back up on my feet That you showed up Was written in my palm You are a statement Fixed but like a bomb I get to push myself To victory You make me win You cut me loose And set me free You make me win In every way You show me how to spread my wings Yes I'm the way So this is the edge that has been closed off with the tiny glue I just did. See how it's more flushed and finished. While this side still has a tiny hole here. So that's what I'm going to work on right now. And add glue that same way and seal it up. So I'm doing this so that the glue application is not messy. That's why I'm doing that. And then it looks like that. Really nice. So I'm done with both frames. I really think this was a lot more easier than the third one. The other one I did. And this even I give, is giving me a much... Um, cleaner look when i say cleaner like the edges so you see how this one is very side by side i don't i don't know if you can kind of see what i'm trying to say this looks bigger and this obviously because the stuff is enclosed i'll have to cut this up a bit to place it in there because i want it to give me the 3d effect i'm thinking of spray painting one of these black 
or both of them black because the wall behind me is going to be white so i don't want this to you know flush in with the wall so i'm probably going to go and spray paint both of them black right now i probably put the marble one in the middle and have these two staying beside them because i did a lot of hard work not to have this in um let me hold this while i talk to you <laughs> so my review so far because after this i'll just spray paint it put in the frame i wouldn't really talk anymore my review so far is this one definitely took a lot of time to build but this feels a lot more sturdy like it will last way longer than the paper one the paper one is a bit more flimsy but it's fine because it's just going to be a prop behind me it's not like i'm making this frame i want looking for something that is quick and easy do this and if you're not and you want something a bit more sturdy follow this process that i showed first bear in mind that i this was the first time trying any of this wow you just saw that in action <laughs> So bear in mind that, I hope you can still see me, but Nepal has taken light. I just have my standby light on in my room right now. But bear in mind that this is something that I have always, you know, wanted to do but never have tried. This is my first time trying any of it and I, I learned a lot. So I'm really happy with how everything came out. It's also like nicely finished. Um, let me know if you enjoyed this video watching me trying to create this please give me a thumbs up right now i did all this hard work for you because it was a lot more harder trying to film check you outside now and also show you how i'm going to spray paint this i wouldn't spray paint everywhere i'll just spray paint, focus on spray painting the edge i probably will glue this to the frame and then one will be matte black so i'll have a marble frame uh this one frame and then black frame thank you so much for watching guys i'm going to go now and do all of that please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it if you learned something would you be trying this framing stuff out and i'm going to see all you amazing amazing butterflies in my next video bye So this is the finished look. These are what all three frames look like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Which one is your favorite? And these are as light as air because it's just paper at the end of the day. So it's really light and it's going to serve nicely for what I need it for. Thank you for watching give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i'm going to see you in my next video bye